am about to try the chestnut praline latte. Mr. Cheesy Pop! It's being made right now. Here is the chestnut praline latte. I just got it. This is going to be the first time I ever, 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 ever sip it in my life. Oh dang, that is good. Woo! How do I even describe this? Let's go somewhere else where I am not in the middle of the street in the dark. Okay, how about that? Yes, good. All right, so I've opened it up here and you can see what's on the inside. Now these are the caramelized chestnuts and praline spices that they add to the top of it. Okay, let me take another sip so I can now give you an accurate description of what this actually tastes like. All right, this is gonna be another sip now. Hmm. How do you even describe something like this thing? Okay, well, it is um, espresso based. That is for sure. You could definitely taste the espresso and I like that. It is not as sweet as the pumpkin spice latte, our favorite PSL. No, the CPL actually, you can actually really taste the coffee in it, uh, the espresso. And you can taste, boy, it's nutty. It's nutty! It's this weird mix of like a not salty nut and then this really sweet caramelized sugar. Candied nut. Yes, candied nut. It's like you're walking down the street on a chilly Parisian night and you smell chestnuts in the air and you're like, I, I want a beverage that feels like that. That's what this is. That's what this is. Seriously, Starbucks wants you to feel like you are in, in, in Paris, I think, when you're drinking this. Uh -huh. Do they have chestnuts in there? I don't know. <laughs> I just get the vibe that this, while also very Americanized, obviously, with its delicious sweetness, also has like a hint more sophistication to it. Yes, the CPL is more sophisticated than the PSL. Hmm. Can I wear a hoodie and drink the CPL? Because I feel like, yeah, hoodies are fine. Yeah, if you're drinking Starbucks. But maybe I should be more sophisticated and wear a suit the next time I have a CPL since I think they're more sophisticated. <laughs> Warm chestnuts. You know what, actually, this is kind of neat. It's making me think of my grandpa because he's the only person that I knew that would uh, eat chestnuts and uh, always during like Christmas time he would you know peel the chestnuts and uh, this is uh, reminding me of that now of course those are those are not sweet those are like savory you know and usually chestnut things are savory so yeah props to Starbucks for making the chestnut something sweet they're so good at things like that man all right so I just looked up the nutritional information on it and so it's got 330 calories 39 grams of sugar, and it's also 40% of your saturated fat for the day. Now, if you're worried about calories, I wouldn't worry too much because this drink is actually worth it. So like, make it your splurge for the day. But if you really just wanna cut some of it out, just get non-fat milk and no whipped cream, and you've cut out a ton. But comparatively, it's just about the same amount of uh, sugar as a soda. So don't have a soda. Have a chestnut praline latte. That's what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go and finish this off camera. I've had about a half of it during the making of this video because it's that good. I'm super psyched about this. This makes pumpkin spice season ending not as sad as I thought it was going to be. Thanks, Starbucks. Now, what does this mean? Do I have to make another song? Oh, I love my chestnut praline praline. <laughs> Oh, I love my CPL, L, 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 O. It goes down so well, L, O, mm, mm. It's not hard to tell, 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 tell. CPL, CPL. Oh, I love my pumpkin spice, 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 spice. So it goes down so nice, 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 nice. You can even get it iced, 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 iced. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice.